<coughs> oh, why is my voice gone? Chief Wilson, you don't sound good. I don't know, I feel sick. Oh, my, I better get you to bed. There, nice and cozy. But who's gonna do the work? We need to save people. Don't worry, I'll handle it. Us and the service helpers will handle it. This is another episode of Service Helpers. Yeah, I know, it's so cool. Hey, I haven't seen Chief Wilson all day. Has he even got to the station? Or is he still at home? I heard that he was sick. Oh no. I hope he's alright. Have you guys heard? We sure have. Are you sure we'll be able to run this place by ourselves? I'm sure it's pretty easy. Look. Come on. Let's go. All right. I like patrolling. <sighs> Hope they do right. Excuse me, why are you stopped on the road? Uh, my car's broken. No excuses. You need to go to jail right now for stopping on the road. That's not allowed. No, no, Cooper. It's fine. He said his car's broken. Oh. I knew that. <sighs> Cooper, you need to pay more attention. I said I knew that. I don't really think you did. Yeah, well, could you guys help me? <sighs> no problem. Ah, your engine's just broken. You need gas. Here, I'll take you to the gas station. Thank you. Ah. <sighs> I can't believe I bluffed. Don't worry, you'll get used to this. Without Chief Wilson, I'm pretty sure you'd practice to be a great officer. And get a badge, too. Alright. We have not been getting any more calls. Oh, I just got one. Someone's hurt? Oh, I hope the service helpers are doing the right thing. I hope they're saving people, probably having fun. <sighs> I like resting in bed. Woohoo! Another great day off. Yeah, ooh. Whoa, watch it. Sorry, Busso. Wow. Cooper's never that fast. And where's Wilson and the rest of the guys? Whoa, hey Cooper, what's the rush? Nothing, nothing, someone's hurt. Oh dear. <sighs> what seems to be the problem? Uh, my car broke down and I'm so tired and hurt. You seems like an old ambulance. Dad? Is that you, Dad? Emmys. Nice to see you. Well, I gotta go home now. I think my car's working again. Oh no! Oh no! Emmis, get him to the hospital quickly! Come on, let's go! Wait, stop! No! Traffic! Are you kidding me? I got this. Get out of the way. We need some people that need to go to the hospital. Thanks, Cooper. But that was really mean. My pleasure. Why do I keep hearing crashes sounds? Well, I feel much better right now. I'm gonna go check on the service helpers. Huh? What in the whole wild world is going on here? I need to go check it out. Are you guys okay? Yes, we're fine. We're fine. Oh, a huge blue 
car crashed into me earlier today, and now he crashed into all of us for no particular reason. Oh no, blue car. Cooper. Oh dear. Cooper, stop! Get out of my... Oh, Wilson. What are you doing out of bed? Do you need to go back to bed? We need someone that's going to the hospital. Number one, you keep crashing into everyone. Number two, the hospital is this way. Oh. Cooper, I need to talk to you. What? You've been doing this all wrong. I have? You shouldn't crash into people, or else they'll get hurt. You shouldn't hurt anyone. I was just trying to help. Well, you should have told the truth. Telling the truth is important. So everyone understands that you need to come through and get someone to the hospital. I just felt like I was the boss and I wanted to do so well. Kind of like you were. Well, I don't think you really did that. I'm sorry. Can you go apologize to all those people? Yes. Oh, hopefully we can save his life. Come on, Dad, wake up. It's okay, I miss. I'm fine. I know how to save someone's life. Cooper, not again. Don't crash into... <gasps> Cooper! Oh, I feel great again. Cooper, you saved his life. I told you, I'm a lifesaver. Oh my god. Thank you so much. Uh, uh, what's I didn't get your name? Cooper. Call me Cooper. Great. You saved his life, Cooper. That's a great job. I did? I didn't do anything bad? No. This time you did something really good. How are you not sick? I got better and decided to check if everything was okay. And it looks like it is. Thank you. Hopefully you learned a lesson for this, Cooper. Another badge for you. Thank you. I guess I better go back to those calls. I feel like the boss again. Yes, 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 yes. <sighs> it's another... Another one of those days, isn't it? Oh look, it's the kid named Cooper. Hello, Cooper. Aren't you my my son's friend? Oh yeah, it's me, Cooper. <laughs> How are you doing today, Cooper? I'm all right, and you? It's a lovely day, isn't it? You know, I always wanted to tell this to one of well, one of my son's friends. And you're one of my son's friends, right? Yeah, and what is that that you want to tell me? About how life was in the city back in time. Oh, I'd love to know that, even before you got your wheels. No, I got my wheels at the time. Anyways, about 30 years ago. I was the mayor of this town. Oh, look, guys, it's Mayor Watson. Hello, Mayor Watson. Hello there, sir. How was your day, Mayor Watson? It's fine, Don. Isn't that your name? Mm-hmm. And how's your son, Phil? Oh, he's great. He's still at school right now. So is my son. Nice. Nice seeing you, Mayor Watson. Uh, life was great. 
Life was great, but one thing occurred at that time when my wife died. Oh, I'm so sorry about that, but life was still great, even though I missed her. At school, it was a private school. Cooper and well, uh, um, Wilson and his friend Willis. Okay, class. Today we'll be learning about how to be a great person and make your own company. Ooh, ooh! I have an idea for a company. And what's that, young Wilson? How about a saving company? A company that could save the world one day. Very good, then. How old was he at the time? He was only six. Only six when he invented the service helper team? Impossible! I've met him when I was ten, and he was twelve. He's older than you? Yup. Impossible! Exactly what I said. Impossible. He is small. He's a young boy. Yeah, 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 yeah. Anyways, as you were saying, okay. Are you listening? Yeah, I was listening a little bit. I'm just too tired. You know, I'm gonna go home. My shift's over. It's the morning. Maybe he's bored. I'm not. Tell me more. Tell me more. Well, I've never spoke so much to you before. Anyways, as I was saying. Willis, do you have any ideas? I want a company that could sweep the floor. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> oh, Willis, you'll never think of ideas like I think of. At recess. Sorry, friend. I didn't know that you had great ideas. I kind of want to work in your company if you ever think of them. Ah, oh, sure! Anytime, just come by. We'll think about it together. Oh, well, 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 look who it is. Ah, oh, shove away, Helly. Oh, I'm just here to brag. Uh huh. Wilson, you're so small that when you grow up, you'd be the same size. Hmm? Well, you have the friend that looks the same. No, I don't. See for yourself. Hello. See? You do have a point there, but I'm bigger than you. How come you don't bully your own friend? Because he's my friend. Well, how come I'm not yours? Because you are so unsmart. Well, at least I can become someone good. You could be just a gangster if you want. But really, I was the one that raised him, even though I'm his grandfather. Why so? His parents died before he was born. So, technically, they got him, they died. And he doesn't even know his parents. He doesn't know how they look like. Not that he doesn't remember. He's never seen them. Mm-hmm. Home? What happens at home? What you doing, son? Writing a sketch of how my police station should look like? You're going to become a great police officer. Thank you. I would like to become a mayor like you. You know, being a police officer is better than being a mayor. But being both, you're a genius. Maybe I can connect the city hall with the police station. That's going to cost you. Exactly. That's what I like it. I thought it was pretty tough to sketch. But he was very, very confident about this stuff. He was really really happy to make it up so you're saying that phil phil's dad spoke with you is phil's dad even around he moved away 
You know that um, that uh, hockey player? Mm-hmm. Mrs. Purple? Mm-hmm. She wasn't even born yet at the time. Wow. She was born when little Miss, little Mr. Wilson was 20. Take me there. Okay. Okay. Phil and Willis, you guys start sketching up the area. Great. And now the floor's done, so you guys can start doing the walls. We'd be happy to help. So keep moving. You better help, too. Yeah, don't worry, Willis, I will. <sighs> How long did it take him to build the station? You should know, you were there. Wow, I love your creating, sir. Thank you, what's your name? I'm Cooper, always wanted to be the boss of everything and become wonderful. I'm Chief Wilson. Chief, since when did you make yourself chief? You can call me Wilson. And this is my friend Willis and Phil. Nice to meet you guys. What are you guys building? Well, I've been deciding to build a grand opening of my police station. Great! Can I help build it? Sure, why not? Wow, this is not scientific at all. This is just a bunch of construction. What are you doing? I'm an agent, wanting to know what you're doing to this beautiful area, turning it into a factory. Just turning it into a police station. Oh, <laughs> uh, forget what, you said, what I said. Come back, you can work for me. I'd love to. What's your name? My name's Emmis. How come you're an ambulance when you're an agent? I'm just kidding, I wasn't an agent. I, I really wanted to build my son a school. You have a son? How old are you? 24? Just kidding, I don't have a son. I want to build it for myself. I want to raise a few children there. Well, you're happy to help us destroy it. <laughs> Seriously? No, 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 no. This is going to be a police station, Emmis. Who are you? I'm Wilson. He's very nice. You were there. Mm-hmm. And you should know that the service hoppers started out a little differently at that time. Mm-hmm. It wasn't the same as now. There was so much more. Let's talk about that. Okay. This is the service helper team. The old one. Yeah, I know it's the old one. Great, Cooper. Now just keep listening. This is the old uh, way of the service helpers. But then this happened. Five years later. It's already been five years of the service helper team. Wow. Do you need any help, sir? Thank you. I, I'm, I'm good. I've just got in a car accident. You will be both paid a fine. Aww. Aww. This is great. Thank you for the fine. I gotta go. What's your name? My name is Fi. Nice to meet you, Fi. Are you new here? Yeah. Gal head home now. Mm hmm I'll go check if he's all right. He didn't look all right. Okay. You don't look all right, sir. Oh, I sure do. Let me help you, Phil. You know, maybe he doesn't look. No, I need to try my best to help. It's fine. I, I'm really okay. No, seriously. Look, let me look on this side. Something really terrible happened. Here, let me look on this side. Whoa, watch out! No! Are you okay, sir? Wait, what just happened? Willis, was that you? Was he okay? 
He was the brother of Don. That's Willis. But... Come on, keep trying! When you keep saying keep trying, I can't do it. Come on, come on. Breathe, breathe. It's not working. Ah. <sighs> Oh my god, Willis, I never thought this would happen to you. That's awful! I know, he's not really touched about that anymore. Phil said he's decided to lay off for quite a while because he was really touched about Willis's death, but, um, that's it. He really had to lay off, and then he forgot about the layoff thing and got a new job to work as a construction worker. And he never got to work as a service hopper ever again. And then Chief Wilson was left with Emmis and Cooper. Yeah, I don't think I remember this part. I didn't even know who Willis was. You were there! I forgot. So, Chief Wilson needed a few more people to join, so that's why he's hiring people every now and then. So then he hired Emmis, or sorry, um, Fi. Yes, what do you want? No, we're not, we're just talking about you. Oh, okay. Everything was fine after that. Wow, very touched. I wonder how Don was feeling at the time. They never knew Don. Never, Don was never here. He just came here because of his funeral and like the town and stayed here. Wow. Oh, hey, Chief Wilson. We were just talking about your friend. No, 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 no. uh, uh, what friend? No, no, no. He wasn't going to talk about anything. He just wants to go to the ice cream shop. Why don't you take Chief Wilson there? That's a great idea. I'd love to come. Oh, okay. Go. <sighs> never explain it to him. He'd never be happy. Done, done, done. Perfect. Guys, I have a surprise. What is it? Well, it's kind of big, but it could be broken. What is it? A time machine. What? You already built a time machine? Come on, Emesis, it's too early. We're living in 2021. I think you should uh, tell us then this 30 years later. No, wait, guys. I, uh... I, I really think we should try it. <laughs> what just happened? Why did the lights turn off? <laughs> Don't even touch the button, Emmis. Excuse me? Who are you? I'm you from the future. I'm telling you that you press the button of this computer and it caused a big... Mistake. Explain what is wrong. Look, I cannot let you press that button. You got it? I cannot. It will cause severe problems. So whatever you do, do not press the button. <laughs> Mm. Mm. Don't listen to him. What? Who are you? I'm you from the future, Chief Wilson, and I am here to fix your boneheaded mistake. Don't talk to him like that. Well, you told me to come back into this time to tell the person not to press the button. It was your idea. Ah, that, 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 that. No, no, no. That is not my idea. You completely thought of that. Blah, blah, blah. All right. 
Can we fix this somehow? I need to talk to you, Chief. Look, Chief, I changed my mind. This thing should not exist. But I have an idea. We sneak through there, press the time machine's button, and we'll be taken into the past. What will happen in the past? We will simply go to the past and go to the time before I thought of the idea of making the time machine. And I will fix our problem without needing to listen to myself. Th that made no sense. Yeah, yeah, I know. I noticed that. I need to sneak in. Why are you talking to me? You're coming too. What? No, 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 no. I'm not. You're coming too. Come on. No, 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 no. Guys, stop riding each other. We're trying to explain something. This is big. Push the button on my head. <laughs> what? What just happened? Uh-oh. This is a bad thing. We have to go after him. Come on. Let's do this. Ching, ching. Ching, ching. Okay. I guess so. Ching, ching. Hello. I'm Emis from the future, futurist of all. I'm here to talk to Emmis and Chief Wilson that they shouldn't have gone on that big adventure. Adventure, because it caused some problems. You're late. Whoa! Oh, that was biggest trance. Where are we? <gasps> there I am. I will catch you. No, no, you can't. You won't catch me. I'm gonna eat you. No! Don't eat me, please. I'll fix this. Please. No, no, this is this is too far away. I thought of the 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 machine way past the, this this uh, tragic problem with the giants. Yeah, can't believe I did this. You know what? I have an idea. I'll go help myself. No, stop, stop! It, it, it's, it's gonna affect our timeline. Just a bit. No, you're gonna affect our timeline. You can't do that, Chief. This could affect the timeline we live in. It could affect the present. What if we end up not existing anymore? What if you can't help him or yourself? You don't end up not helping him. And guess what happens? You end up breaking our timeline. No, I can't let this happen. I must help him. No! Don't, don't! I'm gonna eat... Wait, did you hear something? No. Anyways, back to the show. I'm gonna eat you. No! Please don't eat me. Careful with that. Whoa. Hmm. Where are we? Huh? That's it. We will split in half. You stay on that side and I'll stay in this side. I would never vi visit your side because it's full of show-offs and very cool people that I hate. I will never visit your side because... <gasps> this is episode 23. We haven't gone too far. Three episodes back. Hmm. It's still far away since I've thought of the idea. We have to keep have to keep going. Alright, we're almost there. Did you hear that? Whoa! Oh. 
Cut, cut, cut the uh, cut episode twenty three. We'll restart it. Great way to bring back hockey in the city. Where are we? Go beat him! Whoa! Hide, hide! Did you hear that? No. Wow. This is episode three. We're getting really close to where I thought of the idea. Go beat him, Mrs. Purple. I'm gonna beat you this time. No, you aren't. <laughs> we have to do the double rewind. You can do it. No, no double rewind. Okay. Boom. There we go. <laughs> We've made it to the timing, but we're 45 minutes early. What do we do? Hmm. Double rewind? No, it's too dangerous. No. Chief Wilson. It is not prepared for this stuff anymore. <laughs> happened we were a little late this pillow fell on me it gave me the idea but why I got out two minutes later why aren't the trees moving it froze we're stuck in this forever look what you've done you're kidding Oh no, we're stuck like this forever? We're stuck like this forever, I'll say it again. Maybe if we hit it again. We did it! We fixed everything. Now the time machine never existed and it won't cause any problems. Hi, guys. You just appeared from nowhere an hour later. An hour later? But we were out for ten minutes. Yeah, well, it felt like ten minutes to you. We were standing here watching a movie. Can we watch too? Yes. <laughs> wow, it's a great movie. <laughs> 